Sure. Well, we hear a lot about diet and exercise when it comes to weight and health. But the author of a new book, Hypothyroidism, Health and Happiness, wants to make sure that you're considering other issues as well. And Dr. Stephen Hotze joins us now with more on this topic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, this Jane. is your second book. You came second out with uh, some other things a couple of years back. But now this is what people really want to talk about. That's what you really want to talk right. about. And hypothyroidism is a most common problem uh, that exists in our society, but it, uh, it commonly goes unrecognized, undiagnosed, or misdiagnosed by most practicing physicians. Now, the thyroid gland in the neck produces thyroid hormones. Okay. They govern our body's metabolism, our ability to produce and use energy. If we don't get enough thyroid in the cells, either we don't make enough thyroid or, or there is a resistance at the cellular level, then our cells function at a lower than optimal rate. The metabolism is low and you have a host of symptoms. Fatigue, in a difficulty with weight, inability to focus and think clearly, insomnia, maybe mm -hmm. depressed moods, irregular menstrual cycles, joint muscle aches and pains, loss of romantic moods and inclinations, recurrent and chronic infections, hair falls out, you feel listless, and, and things don't go right. So you end up going to your doctor, and he does a blood test. And the blood test in 95% of the people will show normal, within the normal range. Well, that's because the blood range is as wide as the Grand Canyon, as tall as the Empire State Building, and the doctor will tell you everything's normal and end up putting you on an antidepressant, anti-anxiety, sleep medication, joint joint pain relievers, instead of addressing the underlying problem. So how do, and we know that women, more than men, six are times, diagnosed with right, it. Six times more commonly than, than men. And so what you should do is a, if a person has the clinical symptoms of low thyroid and the signs of low thyroid and a low body temperature, mm -hmm. Then they ought to now, I shook your hand, and I uh, have a very cold, cold hand. Hands. <laughs> but I'm going to blame it on the cold studio. Cla yeah. It's a classical feature of low thyroid. People okay. have cold hands, cold feet, mm -hmm. and a low body temperature. Temperature should be 98.6. It may run 97 or 96 if you have low thyroid. You ought to be given a clinical trial of thyroid preparation, desiccated thyroid, natural thyroid, like armor thyroid, or compounded preparation of thyroid, and your physician ought to clinically adjust that to, to see if it resolves your symptoms. Mm -hmm. But they don't do that. So I'm out telling, uh, if, matter of fact, I've said on this book, this is the book your doctor doesn't want you to read. Ah. Because he doesn't want to address that problem because he doesn't know how to address it very commonly. So if, if a woman or even a man is at home and think that they have these symptoms, what's the best way to address that if they've already been tested and the doctor says, ah, there's nothing wrong with Well, that. you can find some doctors here in town mm -hmm. that approach more natural approaches to health. You might talk with your compounding pharmacist. He may be able to recommend a physician that is more natural in the approach to health. By the way, I offer this book complimentary to any anybody that's listening. They can go to my website, thyroidanswer.com, and you'll pay uh, shipping and handling, but I'll be glad for you to have it because I'm on a mission to educate the country about this problem. We appreciate you joining us today. I'm glad so to be let's here. tell our viewers a little bit more about your book. The book is Hypothyroidism, Health and Happiness. So to get more information or order a copy of the book, just go to thyroidanswer.com slash hope. Thank you so much.